Greetings and salutations and welcome back to session, session 34 of the Bastard Smalls. This might be recorded in September, it's time for the next Halloween session. And everyone's been looking forward to this one, haven't you folks? Define looking forward to. I have a cunning plan. What's your cunning plan? Cunning. Whatever Technically, I wasn't aware of this before five minutes ago, but I'll think of something. Welcome to die! <laughs> okay, now that this lot has been speak speaking up first up, we have uh, Sirot. Is she for sleep well at your service? Reminding you, you do not need to outrun beast. You just have to outrun person next to you. Who may or may not be giving me some ideas for this session. Right. You are welcome, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, not us all concerned, Lady Mace. Why do I get the feeling somebody's going to cause us a lot of trouble? And why do I have a bad feeling that the omen of death is looming over us like a cloud in Okasan's room when he forgets to take a shower for longer than two months? Uh, yes, forgets. Uh, it's just going to be a pain in the neck. Now for the first official guild mission, <laughs> we have Yoza. And not sorry. So, so that's why Okasan's room smells so bad. God. Musk. Lots of Musk. Because I don't know if this was ever mentioned. Omnius is currently staying in Okasan's room until he gets Oh, home. no. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do to deserve that? <laughs> I don't know. He skipped on the uh, initiation fee. <laughs> it was did, did you give him the... It was mentioned hmm? briefly. I remember Did, that. Does he have the infestation cantrip for free because of this? <laughs> Good. <laughs> it, it's not on his spell list, but if Raven allows it, I will say he. I will say because you've been in Okasan's room, you probably deserve to get the infestation cantrip for free. At least that, that is canonically why Okasan has it. <laughs> At least for this session, you can have the infestation. Cantrip for free into your next major showering session. One <laughs> use of infestation. I would say you have multiple uses just for one session, though. Yeah, one session. Because I'm magic. Multiple <laughs> uses <laughs> of infestation. No. I don't know what it does, but I'll figure it out. It basically, uh, it basically mechanically does poison damage. You roll and make the attack, basically. But it's it, basically you're infesting them with various critters, like lice and fleas and ticks. You know, if so you do nice. use that this, and it works, it'll be the funniest thing ever if we end up in a fight. <laughs> All I can say is at the moment, you are infested with sea lice. And, and they, they sing. sing. Yes. <laughs> Hooray, free food. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, great! There's snacks now! Okay. What, you don't think. Move... Omnius does not share Ogasan's love of pudding. <laughs> and moving on to the person whose fault it, this is <laughs> Lantern! <laughs> I have no idea what you could be talking about. <clears throat> no, not at all, since uh, Ogasan Kuli is still missing. <laughs> and last but definitely not finally we have Starfinger's HLC the irony of the fact that I ate Count Chocula for breakfast today I want Count Chocula I'm jealous I've never actually tried it the marshmallows are chocolate it's so good if you I... like chocolate breakfast cereals, it's a good one. Yeah, I don't really eat breakfast, period. Uh, you haven't hit the adulting stage where cereal is an anytime snack, huh? I mean, sometimes, but... <laughs> Usually I have, like, 
chips. Here. Or crisps for our British DM. See, it depends on the thing. It depends on prices, but I usually get a bag of cereal cheaper than I get a bag of chips. Where are you getting bags of cereal? Grocery store. Yeah. I mean, inside really? the box, there is a bag. Yes. But they also have true. the generic cereals, which pretty much tastes exactly like the normal stuff in large plastic bags without the box yeah. around it. I have never seen those. No, next time go to your go to the cereal aisle and just look for the generic cereals and you'll see like these monster sized bags of cereal for about the cost of a normal box. Mm-hmm. All right. I'll have to see. They're called Malto Meals, I think. It there are a few brands, but Malto Meal is a big one, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, because I All right. Jeremy a few refused to edit these down. We joined the smalls as they're around the breakfast table discussing breakfast. Per usual, the mail's come in. Some of it's from a few years ago. So how it eventually found you, you have no idea. For some of us, it's a case of... One piece of mail seems to be dated one year in the future. And the mailman was complaining about coming from a magical storm at the time. Hmm. You may have already won 10,000 gold pieces. I should probably look into that. You do a, that. What's a car and why does it want to extend its warranty? I don't know. What's a warranty? You should probably ask mm-hmm. Snark. A car sounds like something he would deal with. In my magnite. Shredding the, fa- the Shattered Isles IRS tax forms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's a bold move because you need a joker to mess with the IRS. Meanwhile, mm. Matt, well, while they're talking, Magpie's reading over some history and some medical books to while she's eating breakfast, like she would read a newspaper essentially. Basically, she's studying. Maybe constitution check. She slept. Make me a constitution check, please. Check or save? Save. Okay, thank you. I want to make sure I rolled the right thing. Seventeen. The stuff you read is a bit nausea inducing, but the worst you get is just the, just the feeling in the back of your throat, thoughts of uh, possible reflex, but otherwise you're fine. Look, you're a ranger, but you haven't really got much ex- much experience with doing dealing with the humanoid body and its always functions, especially when it's been uh, mutilated. Oh, it's because I was reading the medical book. Yes. And Shifros is looking back through back through what appears to be a very boring dry tome that has lists of names. Omnius glances at the tome to see if his name is on it. I mean, he's not hiding it or anything, but it, it appears to be just a long list of uh, his family members. As in Shifros' family members. Alright. Several of them have little checks, X's, or lines dr- scribbled next to them. It's at this point. I have guesses as to what those means. Omnius wouldn't care, though. <laughs> it's at this point, Dice comes along, just hand, hands you for another letter. Ah, oh, this one arrived late for you. Thank you. Open up and read it. It's from, uh, Dane. He's been, uh, the basic details of the letter is he's been instructed by your boss to inform you that their uh, spirit talker has been taken ill and uh, no doctors have been able to bring them out of a coma. They are thinking something odd's going on there. It's 
insert name spirit talker name will be uh, added at another time because I don't want to go thinking of him. Adelaide. Uh, this is most and um, this is uh, slightly troubling. Uh, yeah. What's the letter say? Also, also included is some translations that uh, the spirit talker had had been working at the time from that specific soul jam. And most of it is translation of which comes down to Helga was trying to convince her father, convince her, your father, what they were doing was not not on the ball, and sooner or later someone was going to find out. Hmm. Very troubling indeed. Unfortunately, this just confirms things I was worried about. We'll deal with it later. Just kind of shove the letter in my pocket. And make a few notes next to a few names in the book after reading that. But despite all this, it's just general you know, hustle bustle going on. I thought, anyone paint? Okay, uh, <laughs> if uh, Badger be in the room, say, if anyone happens to be glancing over him at this moment, give us a perceptive role. Okay. Sure, why not? I mean, I'm okay. reading the book here. I am not glancing in that direction. Magpie is usually like half aware of things, so I'll do it for fun. Amius is busy eating breakfast. Sai is apparently deeply concerned about the state of his cereal because I got a one, I got a, a seven. Fifteen. Hustle <laughs> at fifteen. Sai, you think your your milk has turned into custard? Hmm. It actually turns out your milk has actually turned into custard. That's deeply suspicious. Also, is probably Arsip's a pretty tasty marked... breakfast. Boy, uh... Arsip's so... Boy, is Arsip's getting talented with his custard, isn't he? <laughs> well, I doubt it tastes bad with the cereal they use around here. Now, for those of you, oh, everyone else, I guess, if you notice, Badger has a look, is looking over towards the doorway with a raised eyebrow. Looking at the door, then. <laughs> Why do I just looking at the door? Yuki, you see a kobold standing in the doorway who's wearing an eye patch, looks it's dressed in some sort of, sort of extravagant sort of way, sort of swashbuckly, heavy coat with a cloak hung around his shoulders. It's, if you didn't know any better, you would say this this cobalt is a descendant of blue dragon lineage, but uh, their colouring has long since left their scales. Yeah, Yuki goes over and opens the door. Ah, thank, thank you, ma'am. Ma'am, I am Riff von, von Bismarck, and I come seeking aid for a very important task. Ooh, what sort of task? Assassination. Oh. Oh, Amis' just... head turns slowly. Magpie is just looking at this little cobalt like, Well, that's a bold thing to ask in a guild of heroes! Damn! Oh, don't worry, don't worry. We're only assassinating a monster. Uh, what's the monster? Uh, not one I can speak of publicly unless I endanger the loss of you. Oh. Does it count as assassination if it's a monster? I mean, Wait, uh, in theory, quick. maybe. But that would involve, like, I don't know, a lot of things. Amis is just mulling it over in his head if murder Question. monster counts. <laughs> Question. Does the uh, monster create an effect if you say their name? For example, a fireball... 
Oh God, we're facing down Candlejack. And wait, where did Psy go? Mm. <laughs> Someone clearly has thrown a bag over over Psy and now running off with him. Hey, come back here! <laughs> he's after them. Oh no, boss, he's paying my bills. <laughs> oh no, we have Freakazoid in this universe! Yay! <laughs> Shifros looks up from the book after hearing Magpie say the earlier words. He says, you think this is Guild of Heroes? Have you looked around? Well, I wouldn't call it a Guild of Assassins, now would I? It's at that point you just happen to look towards the direction of the Ratfolk party where Creekrat is currently engaged with them. They give you, they notice you look up, looking in their direction, glance back, they're going to huddle as get you doing something very hushed. Oh, so you get a feeling they're not doing something particularly heroic. Okay, we're not a guild of assassins. We're a guild of adventurers. Still, assassination's kind of a big thing, but a monster you can't talk about. Again, I ask, does this monster happen to have an effect like if you say their name, something happens? No. Hmm. Something tells me this monster has a known name, and if it is whispered, eh, people will talk and attract monster. Yeah, I just have a gut feeling I don't want to know what this monster is. Any particular reason you're seeking aid to assassinate this monster, sir, while uh, the other person talking to you is trying to get her boyfriend back? Come back here, you baggage bastard! <laughs> Omnius is also chasing because Psy is unofficially his boss in his head. Still. <laughs> yeah, so at this point, a badger just arrives, just looming over pretty much everyone just by his mere presence. Because he needs able and capable bodies. Ah, badger, it's been so long. Ten years. You're looking well. Yes, yes, I'm trying to maintain the best I can, and my apologies for how things turned out last time, but we got got the job done. Yes, yes, we did. It's at this point, his uh, hand goes towards where his other arm should be. Magpie, because she probably has her bow with her, telepathically to Chef Ross, so nobody else hears. There's history here, and I'm getting some bad tension. So Shifros just kind of looks up and watches the uh, watches the pair over there do their thing. Magpie's watching with them. Looks back at Magpie, shrugs, and looks back at his book. So who has the guild given you to aid this time? Oh, just let me check. Uh, just pulls out. Pulls out uh, some paperwork and, hmm, let's see, it's uh, party number 68.5, slash 69, the Bastard Smalls. Oh, well, I think this concerns us. I'm just concerned in general. Wait a second. Why would we put on this? Because you've been doing so well, apparently. Old uh, Vaf. Vaf says. Vaf. Vaf. I mean, come, come on. We just need. I had a good look at your uh, track record of your job so far. You've been dealing with some big nasties along the way. This, this won't be so hard. To be fair, we don't intentionally run into the big nasties. They kind of just get attracted to us somehow. Omnius stops chasing for a second to mention, hey, uh, I technically have not fought anything that big yet, so uh, 
maybe I should just sit this one out. I mean, like, if if that's okay with everyone, and then probably get smacked by someone. Yeah, you do get smacked by someone. You just don't know by who. <laughs> Accidentally by Sai as Yuki's carrying him back. <laughs> yes, Sai just smacks him in the back of the head. Like, you're coming along with this whether you like it or not. Sai doesn't want to go along with this. Sai so, is in a bag right now. That's why I said accidentally. <laughs> okay, so how busy is the how busy is the canteen right now? It's fairly busy, but at the moment it's just now dead silent with everyone now looking at you lot. Are any of them holding in laughter? No, this is a general look of concern. Because, uh... Has anyone looked into the history of the guild itself? Hmm... Can Nightfly do a history check? Because she, because of the Walter thing, she's been looking into history like for fun. Sai is proficient in history. Mm -hmm. But have you looked into the guild, the history of the guild itself? That's why I, I want to roll it to see if she has or not. Answer basically. yes or no. I history. I I'm gonna say no for Sai. Yeah, you know, I'll say no for Magpie either. She hasn't gotten to that yet. Then you I won't think... know what uh... happens. Omnius might have, but no, yeah, he would have looked into what the place was about before s settling in. Okay, Omnius, give us a, uh, a history roll, please. All right. Let me just. I mean, Shifros has been here, but he hasn't cared enough. <clears throat> Nope. That's that that is a nine. No eight. That's an eight. All you understand is of the situation is possibly related to a a mission dated back ten years ago. We don't get any details. It was apparently it you don't know the details, but it didn't go well. Now I'm getting flashbacks to Ace Attorney. Does anything Ten go well? Ten years ago. <laughs> Ten years ago. <laughs> Does Omnius share this information with the rest of the party? What he can. I, I seem to remember something similar to this like uh, 10 years ago. I did my research. Sounds like there wasn't much on it, if that's what you got. But were well, Badger and the was... Cobalt involved? Ten, were they? Ten years ago, me and a party aided Von Bismarck here on a very important task. My party did not return. It cost me an arm. It cost Von Bismarck here a fair amount as well. Ugh. I kind of hangs her head in mourning a little bit. Oh! Oh, Badger, don't be so dramatic about it. We got the job done. And you're still doing well, aren't you? Why, has, why did you not get Arm back? I won't explain. But since you've been a volunteer for this task, all I can say is be careful. Be vigilant. We'll do our best. Mm -hmm. well, the time's for us not to have the bird brains around to take damage for us. And he um, takes yeah. off the freaking bag of a size head. <laughs> Obvious kind of hides at the phrase bird brain. Because technically that could be applied to him. <laughs> to, to be fair, no. <laughs> S 
Shimano. Not that mixed <laughs> yet. Shimano, what the bag is taking? Look, you get you get a good view of Van Bismarck. Give us a history roll, history roll, please. Oh, alrighty. Anything but a custard dice. I think the custard dice are actually in my closet, but okay. So that is an eighteen. One moment. Go. So, Sai so goes back into the bag. He's not gonna tell us what's going on. <laughs> ah, he will tell you guys later, but he's going back in his bag. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, uh, boss, what 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 what's happening? Why are you back in the bag? Yeah, good question, Sai. Why the hell are you going back in the bag? Yuki's face kind of turns pale, just being like, oh, I have a feeling I know where this is going. Who is Sai? My name is Dewey. <laughs> Who's Dewey? <laughs> I think he's the one that made the decil decimal system in the library that gets chaotic now and then. Sai so comes out of the bag wearing an outrageous fake mustache. It's at this point, old Van Van Bismarck throws throws a bag on bag onto your table. Down payment for your services. Omnius grabs the 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 sack and opens it. How much is in there? Cut gems, many of them of multiple different colours, shapes and sizes. Near enough a thousand gold worth. His Same eyes start hell. shining. Vampire <laughs> is just in shock. She has never seen that many gemstones at Guys, all. Guys, we're doing this job. I don't care what you say, we're doing this job. How much of this <laughs> how much of Bessie what uh what Omnis owes uh, Percy, it will that pay off? Like ten percent. <laughs> oh good <laughs> god, you have done badly. <laughs> Magpie's like, well, what kind of monster are we assassinating? Like species here? A bad one. I'll explain when we get get to a more secure location. He just gave you. You know, it does not matter how much payment is if you are not alive to use it. Jeff Ross does have a point. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. After last time, I've been making sure to beef up, beef up the procedures just to make sure the party gets out alive, or at least in Disney, one or more alive pieces. You see one of Jeff Ross's eyebrows go up very high. He tilts his head, looks at, looks at the the optimistic one here then badger to see what badger's face looks like after that line and then start staring down our new friend badger's expression remains the same which pillum is saying you're going for a trial of fire fueled by snowy special brew oh hell that 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 doesn't fill me with any optimism, but you, it's you our know job. Do, Dewey will be right back. Speaking of special brew, Dewey Dewey has to go pick up supplies. Yuki follows Get him. back here, Sai. <laughs> who who is Sai? I am Dewey. Nobody Boss. is buying that mustache. Okay. You need to at least use same color pencil on mustache as normal hair. You do not have turquoise hair. <laughs> I was going to go with plaid, but... <laughs> it's right pretty, but he's a dye of hair turquoise with dye the mustache blonde, dude. 
and all I can <laughs> think of is Jacques the Whipper. Now, now that's all sorted, Von Bismarck's stats. I'll, I'll see you down to the down to the uh, down to the ferry tomorrow, tomorrow morning. I just need to pick up something, and I'll see you there. I wish you a good day. Until then. Magpie looks up at Badger when he leaves. Can we trust him, Badger? He is as good as his word. Okay. Uh, that's one fear alleviated. Now for the other non and on. We weren't At least even they're given not choice red to take mission. No, we weren't. I mean, I was going to take it anyway. Even if you guys didn't come with me, I'm going to take it. We didn't really get a chance to say yes or no in either direction. We were volunteered for it. Game on, if Badger is looking concerned and saying this is a trial by fire, Magpie's believing it. She's taking this very seriously and is very concerned. Omnius, having no knowledge of how Badger is or works or anything, is mainly focused on treasure, gold, uncut gems. Uh, He's not letting go does he have a not. bag of holding yet? You would, yes. You would have been given a bag of holding. He just starts shoveling the gems into the bag of holding. Shifros heads down to the uh, the revivification area and uh, says, "Need to secure, need to reserve a few urns." And the uh, the guy and the person who wants it, a very cheery looking human, for like a better description. Ah, oh, oh, brilliant! But it's been a while since we had someone down here. Wait, not a problem, not a problem. How many, how many cauldrons do you wish to reserve? I think five will do for the moment. Well, put five aside just for you. It just Thank you. It just gave you a beaming smile and a big two thumbs up. I'm not looking forward to first use of this, you know. You know, people really do, really do like coming down here. Or just waking up here. You know, it's more about the grave work working here. He just gives you a wide shitty grin at his own joke. Shifros's eye twitches. He has marked another... He has marked <laughs> another eventual prank uh, recipient. I don't know what's wrong. It's not like you look in the graveyard shift here. Mind you, it is a, a delightful, quiet shift. And people are just dying to get here, aren't they? Oh, oh yeah, they, they can't stay on their feet, feet for the excitement of coming here. Hopefully we will not need them, but just in case. I so many so many better undertaking ready ready puns, but I came came up disappointed me. Shifros mm. isn't in a joking mood. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, that Undertaker clearly is. That Undertaker has the uh, mood of the uh, albino from Princess Bride. I think. At least he likes his job. I'm like the hangman in Marbon Hood Men in Tights. Hmm. So, so Shifros, after that, he, he gets ready to actually leave. So goes through his pack and makes sure he has all the stuff he needs. What's everyone else doing? Magpie is preparing her arrows 
and mentally preparing herself the pixie ward way because she knows this is going to be one of her toughest missions yet. She just has this gut feeling. She also is probably training with her short sword a little bit more because she wants to be ready for this. Now that Kai's done his little task, what's he doing? That he's done his little task, um, he, he is taking Yuki aside and uh, telling her a little bit of what he remembers about Von Bismarck. Okay. Okay. What he knows about Von Bismarck is a case of you do know what happened ten years ago. Um, well, for everyone, everyone in the party is a case of, not for your characters, it's just a case of 10 years ago, Von Bismarck, along with the party, including Carver, uh, along with uh, Badger, killed the last Carver. There was another one? Carver is not a name. Carver is a title. Oh. Carver... Carver is a job, and whenever, whenever one Carver gets destroyed, a new Carver is made. Made? That is the best description I have for it. The unusual thing you know about this Carver is, cases, cases in times past. The usual, the usual placement carver is made of the person who killed the last one. It, it just proved that Von Bismarck was a bit too cunning for them to get to him to do the job. So they found the next best thing. Wait, so there's parts of... Is that what happened to Badger's arm? I I kind of doubt it, but I don't know all the details of the upbringing of the current Carver. It's something that the family does not talk about. He, here is how we are introduced to Carver within the Du Corbeau family. Each and every one of us is taken out on a mission with the current Carver to, sh to take down a traitor or someone who has displeased the family. And we are shown in great detail what Carver does. Kava exists to take out things that have upset the family. With extreme prejudice. I saw his handiwork in the one mission. That, that's him being restrained. Oh, God. And you think Bismarck's trying to repeat what happened? I would not be surprised. Tread carefully. Yeah. I have a feeling even my family name's not gonna have any weight in this. Carver won't care. Carvo was built not to care. He, he is a weapon to be used indiscriminately. He is a force of destruction. And you don't want to tell the party about this? We def... This is family business, so it's always tricky, but we can tell them once. We can tell them shortly. 
Yeah. I just didn't want Bismarck in front of us when I was talking about that, because he is one who goes after vampires in general. I see. Surprised he didn't recognize you then. What? Why do you think I was Dewey for a second? Because sometimes you like to role play. What we do in our spare time is nobody's business. <laughs> Kinky. <laughs> oh my god, this is a PG adventure, you two! <laughs> kind of. PG-13. This is the American PG-13. We allow violence, not that. Well, we're going with UK standards, 15. Role play could just mean LARPing. You don't know. <laughs> Get your minds out of the gutter, people. <laughs> Never. I like it here. <laughs> <laughs> so what should we do to prepare? Well, uh, I did pick up some holy... Let's call it water. <laughs> Among other things. I, I may have... I may have a quick chat with uh, Omnius and Shifros a little later. Yuki, you are not she's not to uh, cry. is Cody limping. What happened to you? Why are you limping? It was very cramped in that bag. She just gives him a look. Also, where's the item? <laughs> Should I tell her? I'm more curious where it is. Where you keeping it, keeping it for myself? Um, I I currently have it in a flask in my bag of holding. Currently, your bag of holding is turning light to color. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh. I was, oh. I was gonna go, yeah, keep it on the nice stand. The wallpaper was coming off the walls. <laughs> <laughs> well, it did well against the Lord of the Harvest, so. Why don't we, we didn't use. Oh, wait, for uh, the fart cloud. So, I cried. I bring back memories of the sunspots he saw when that fireball went off. All right. Anything I can do? Besides, obviously, getting as far away as possible, which isn't. Possible. Do everything you can to keep yourself safe. This is not... This is not going to be fun. I will if you will. But the push comes to shove. I'm going to try and get you out of there as quickly as possible. We're in this together. We are. Better or worse. Better or worse. And on that, I think I bring this uh, section of the session to a close. So, until next time, pack your steaks and garlic. We're hunting vampires. Later, folks. Bye. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye.